This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. She is fast and she is looking to make the U.S. Olympic team. Former Kentucky Wildcat Kendra Harrison on the track tonight out at the U.S. Olympic tri track trials in Eugene, Oregon. Quarterfinal 100 meter hurdle heats Harrison in lane four. She needed a top three finish to automatically qualify for tomorrow's semifinals and look at her go. She smoked it. Clears all 10 hurdles in 12.57 seconds and wins her heat. And how do you hope this dream unfolds for you here in Eugene? Man, you know, if it's in God's glory, I really want to make the team. I really think that I have what it takes to make the Olympic team. And I definitely want to represent USA. Again, semifinal heats tomorrow night. Let's stick with the racing theme, except we are talking engines, not human feet. They'll run the Quaker State 400 this weekend at the Kentucky Speedway. And gone is all the so-called character, those bumps that are associated with the track. That's because the Speedway underwent a complete revamping project this summer, which means guys like Brad Kozlowski, who is a two-time winner of the Quaker State 400, will have to use the practice sessions to figure out the new surface. When they repaved it, they changed one and two dramatically. Uh, and one and two, it kind of feels more like um, almost Kansas. It's really fast. Uh, in the Xfinity cars, we can run wide open through that corner. Uh, we weren't even close to that before, I can tell you. I think you'll be able to run closer to guys, uh, but exit of the corner will be tough. Um, carrying speed off of turn four is going to be tough, like Brad's saying. Um, entering three and four will be a challenge. Um, and then exiting beside somebody. That race, of course, is Saturday night. The Peach Jam is considered the marquee event when it comes to the AAU basketball circuit in the summer, and that is where you will find this guy, five-star point guard Trey Young. He is one of John Calipari's top priority for next year's recruiting class. As you can imagine, Young's iPhone blows up nonstop with coaches calling him, and while it does get a little bit old, he feels grateful he is in that position. I mean, it does, but it doesn't because not a lot of people get to do have this opportunity, so you have to, you have to be fortunate, and uh, I mean, you have to count your blessings because this doesn't happen for everybody. NBA Utah Summer League, former Louisville Cardinal Terry Rozier and the Boston Celtics taking on the Spurs. We start with the former Wildcat James Young. Rozier gets in the ball, Young lighting it up, right in your face, and then a little bit later, Young driving. And the floater, he goes for 10 points tonight, but how about how this game ends? 5.6 ticks on the clock, Celtics down two, Rozier says, give me all three of these. And the foul. Rozier from way downtown, bankage there, plus the foul. He would miss the free throw with 1.8 left, but it was enough to be the game winner. He goes for a game high 23 points, and the Celtics go 3-0 in the Utah Summer League. Also tonight, Trey Lyles in the Utah Jazz they finish the summer league with no wins. They finish 0-3 with a loss to the 76ers. Lowes, though, had a, another great night, 22 points, 8 rebounds. Now they shift gears, of course, to the Las Vegas Summer League, where they will play the Grizzlies Saturday night. A little bit earlier today, out at the Orlando Summer League, Alex Pointhris and the Magic Blue Squad got their first win over the Dallas Mavericks. Pointhris goes for 10 points in just over 8 minutes of actual playing time. The other former cat on the floor, Marcus Teague, dropped in 14 points and dished out five assists. In case you missed it last night, Dwayne Wade leaves South Beach for Chicago. The deal reportedly worth $47 million over the next two years. Wade joins former Kentucky Wildcat Rajon Rondo, who is also with the Bulls. That's two of the alphas on the team. The third is Jimmy Butler, and Rondo thinks it's Jimmy's team, not Wade's. Who the big dog? Well, you know, it's obvious I think it's Jimmy's team. Um, you know, Wade, you know, I don't know how they're going to handle it out, but I think it's obviously Jimmy's the youngest. He's, he's the engine here, and it'll be Jimmy, Wade, and then, you know, it'll be pecking order, so. Interesting. You know, football season is creeping closer and closer, and one college has a new face on the sidelines. Dane Dameron will begin his first season at UVA Wise. We were able to catch up with him today. Dameron comes uh, from EKU, where he was the offensive brain for the Colonels. Wise had a below average season, to say the least. They were 1-10 last year. He's looking to revamp the struggling program and believes that good old simple ball can get the job done. We're not going to try to out-scheme people. We're not going to try to be board warriors, you know getting on the whiteboard and seeing who can draw up the best play, you know, because no matter what play you're in, great players make plays go. And so we're gonna we're gonna be very simple in our approach and just try to and try to win through repetition and take care of it that way. 
One last note, Adam Duvall will participate in the Home Run Derby. So we've got a Reds All-Star out there. That's sports, and we will be back.